Hello, hello. Welcome back to another video. Today's video, we're going to be doing the flip through of months October to December. Trying to be consistent. I said I was going to do it. So here we are. Now, I will preface some of the spreads that I typically have done and would have done did not happen. And I'm not 100% sure if I'll go back and do something or not. But nonetheless, here we are. And here's where we started. If you guys have not seen the first one, which was July through September, I will link that here in the cards for you as well as down in the description box so you can go back and check it out. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so for the month of October, normally on this sheet I have been putting any orders that I place. Um, I don't think, I don't really remember October that well. <laughs> outside of what I'm going to see in my spreads, but um, yeah, we have nothing there. And then this here is my October monthly. So I used a kit from Goldmine and Coco. I'll leave the name of the kit here on the screen for you guys to go check it out. Along with some washi that was included in her treasure chest box. And then some of these floral like deco pieces here are from... I believe it's the Pretty Pink Co. I'll also throw that up on the screen for you guys. Um, but this is the kit. It, I mean, this is my spread. I really, really like the way this spread came out using a kit, but not a monthly kit. This was really fun to like really try some different things. And I pretty much just highlighted some of the bigger things for me. So like... I wasn't feeling well that day. The VB debate when the fly landed on the vice president's head was probably the most epic thing I've ever seen in my life. Um, my friends got married on that day. I had a collab go up with um, the Crystalina Perspective, a rapid response with a patient uh, with my orientee, my stepfather who has now passed on, his birthday was this month, National Chocolate Day. Now, I don't have any chocolate, but I love chocolate-covered strawberries, so this just worked. Also, National Cat Day. And this day here is when I dropped off my um, completed ballot downtown in my city. So, I just kind of cut around that sticker and added this cute little patent sticker um, that I got from Gold Mine and Coco as well. Let's see. Oh, see, here we go. This is where I do my orders. And I haven't been doing my dashboard, so you probably won't see anything. So here, this kit is from Scribble Prince Co. It is, I did accent it with gold foil. I thought it was really pretty. Um, I love the way I kind of scattered the deco across the top with the date covers. And then these date numbers are from Glam Planner. Um, and Glam Planner and Scribble Prince Co. have like very similar like layouts and styles. So I do usually pull them into each other a lot. Um, but yeah, this week I remember I was finally able to go get me some watermelon. And it's this guy, we call him the Watermelon Man. He's known locally as the Watermelon Man. And I was so glad that I actually was able to catch him right before the end of his season. I was like, yes, thank you, God, Nick. That watermelon was delicious. Um, yes, but... Remember, we did have somebody pass away that's in my Eastern Star chapter. Um, the ultimate urban planner party that was hosted by Goldmine and Coco. I remember it was that day, but it was like such a hassle trying to get on. It was like too many people, and then they tried to do something else. It wasn't really working. So I ended up not even missing it. And then by the time everything was kind of fixed, I was already in the bed because I had to work the next day. So. I just chalked it up, um, but I did get the things that were sent out um, with buying a ticket, so I will be using that in my setup soon. Then here is like the first full week of October, and this was a um, mystery kit from Glam Planner. This was one of her most recent ones, and I had to use it. Like, I had already 
all of my kits like lined up probably all the way up until the end of January I think but I say nope I have to use it now I absolutely love it she um gave us hollow foil you guys see that I love this I use the um, double box seam which I really like using this because it gives you like extra um, spaces and stuff here and then I added the girl here I just think it's just this is just so cute and I remember like these couple of weeks we were like going heavy on watching a lot of like old classic movies and stuff like that it was a lot um, I remember that day at work that was the first day that my orientee Jay had went up to four patients and it was oh it was it was a time but she handled it like a boss and she's off of orientation now which does make me sad to see my little it's like my it's like my little baby just kind of grow up you know so it was nice to you know see oh yeah I remember that I think from hurting my foot my check was like hella short and I had to like talk to my the nurse man it, oh it was it was a mess and I can tell you the outcome was I still didn't get paid it's a whole ass whole whole mess all right, so this here, this is the collab video week that I did with the Crystalina Perspective. So I will link that above and down in the description box. But this kit was from Chic Blossom Prints, and I absolutely love this kit. So when we talked about collabing, I said, okay, well, these are some of the kits that I have. Do you have any of them? And she was like, no, but I really love this coffee kit. And it kind of like works because nurses and coffee kind of really go hand in hand. And that's what we did with this video. We talked about... Our like experiences and how we got into nursing or how we um how our nursing journey is going so this was a really 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 cute kit I love the coffee like theme even though at that moment I still wasn't really feeling Starbucks but nonetheless here it is I really like the way that it came out I really liked working with her kit I love the depth of color that she has in her kits and if you guys remember that sunflower kit that I used that was also from her absolutely love it so I will be um making a purchase actually now that I'm thinking about it they're going to be having another light the black black planner or black shops united yeah black shops united sale is going on so hopefully she's in that because I, I need to get some more from her Oh, yeah, and that week, this was my Graham's birthday. Um, she's my only living um, Graham that's left. My maternal grandmother had passed away um, some years ago now. I was about to say a few years ago. No, it's, it's been a little longer than that. But, yes, that was that week. And this, I don't even like bang with orange and stuff like that. But this was, I believe... I don't, I don't remember if this was a mystery kit or not. What I'll do is all of these videos that I did post, I will list them down below. So if you guys want to go back and watch them, you can. Um, but this is also from Glam Planner. It looks here. I just ended up writing in the numbers. And then she had these overlay in her um, foil bundles. So I just kind of like overlaid it to add some, you know, spice up there. Because the this font is how the original day covers were fronted so um yes yeah, so i remember that monday i was precepting jay oh my gosh my head was hurting so bad so i had to go get some starbucks to see if that would help and then the next day our one patient he ended up being a rapid response and we had to transfer to the icu and it that was that was a mess and then dealing with patient families i'll say this when we, we understand trust because we talk about it all the time at work. We understand how like frustrating and sad it is that, you know, our patients aren't able to have visitors the way they once was like in the summertime back to now we can't, they're not having any. And then, um, you know, things that's happening, like not being communicated with, you know what, I, I totally understand that. And if you were to ever call and I had your family member as my patient, as much information that I can give you from the nursing standpoint, I will. Trust and believe, I will. But you have to understand that everything isn't our fault, even though nurses are always blamed for everything. It's not our fault. 
And if you guys could be mindful, and if you know somebody that's like that, or you're talking to somebody and they start talking to you about, oh, da -da -da -da, and they just kind of like bad mouth any healthcare professionals, but especially nurses, because you know I am a nurse, so I'm going to talk for nurses right now. But if you can like, hey, listen, it's 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 not all their fault. And please, if you ever wanted to talk to me about anything, I am an open book. Outside of HIPAA, I am an open book about nursing. So contact me on Instagram, or you can even leave me a message at the bottom of this in this um this video's description box and uh comment box. Like let just let me know. I'll, we we could talk about anything, but back back to the video at hand. So clearly, I was supposed to put something there. I don't remember what that was supposed to be. Um, I remember I started tracking my steps this week, and I was so happy to go home and take my bra off. Oh, child. And this was like, and the way the planners are set up with the Monday to Sunday start, it always looks like I'm working a four-day work week, but... Our work weeks are Sunday to Saturday. So this was technically the end of one week and Sunday was the start of a next week. So anytime you see that, it's always because that's what it is for um, nurses. Well, at least for my workplace. So November, I put nothing. Let's peek through. Nothing there. So nothing on the dashboard. All of my orders. Oh my gosh, that video is, that video is actually up now. Okay, so this was the week of Halloween, and this kit is from Nikki Plus 3. I definitely do um, like the way that it came out. As you see, it is silver foil. This is about the closest that I was getting to anything remotely uh, Halloween-ish. It's not really my thing, but I really like the way this was set up. And I bought this probably 2019. Yeah, I bought this 2019, so... I said, hey, here's my time to use it. So this was the kit that I used. Um, I remember this year, this was the day that Walter Wadlow Jr. was murdered. Actually, not far from me. And it was that, we just not even going to go there. Um, the 29th was two of my gal children's birthday. And yeah, it's just, uh, it's just a lot. I dropped off my ballot that Saturday, I mean, that Friday. Got my flu shot also that day because I thought, I was going, I think, back to work on Thursday, but actually ended up being called off. So, and the 30th was like the last day it was supposed to be for um, my unit to get the flu shot, but we ended up being, uh, having it like stretched out because a lot of our flu shots was being given to other providers and not just the staff on my floor. So, that was the whole thing. And then here, this was the first time I was doing this, like, hello whatever i used that um where's that from i'm gonna put that on the screen i can't remember but i bought this and i said oh yes i have to use them and then november 1st that was a uh, world vegan day now i'm not vegan but i am trying to have a more plant-based lifestyle it definitely works so much better for my body so i definitely need to do that um yeah and i remember this was I think I was like getting over a migraine or something like that and wasn't feeling it, it that yeah this was a week so then this kit is from lemon and honey studios I believe she's on Etsy if I remember correctly I saw this kit be hauled by tattoo teacher plans on um, YouTube and Instagram and I was like oh this would be a perfect kit to use for the week of election so remember this was election day I had already voted um, but I pretty much kept my boxes and this is the thing that I've been noticing like my different trends like I kind of did the boxes you know almost like a pattern it was like down up up down up up down you know uh, that was kind of the theme that I did uh, this week but yeah this was a really um, cute kit and I really what really drew me to it was the full boxes and what the full boxes were saying um, I know for certain, even though having the flag, like the flag looks here and stuff like that, I didn't use the full box flag because ever since, you know, the Black Lives Matter movement really have like been on the scene as noticeable as it has been, seeing flags really make me feel the type of way. So I just didn't want to use it. Um... But I know we did some charity with my um, Eastern Star 
um, chapter. So I was like grateful to be charitable for that week. Um, it was like went to Whole Foods. I connected with a patient. Um, I remember I like I like using these like happy moments things. Um, and then I remember my senior student. She was like so grateful. Was like, oh, you know, I hope to get hired on your floor, and I hope you're able to precept me too. And I'm just like, you know, it it definitely made me um feel good. I'm also laughing. I want you guys to like see how many times I put something about restarting my visit line because let me tell you, I have not yet. <laughs> I have not. Okay, this kit is from Pink Kimono Paper. She is available on Etsy. She is actually a planner girl and one of in the planner community and group that is um, in my city. Love her to death. Um, I actually got the full box page from our planner meetup that I had met her at, and it's actually made for a happy planner. But y'all see how I finagle this and made it work, right? Right. So I just went back and bought the rest of the pages of the kit and then some of the deco pieces. And I really like how this came out. It was really cute. It's little cats. Just the freaking cutest thing. Like, I love it. I accented it in gold to really make that pastel color pop. And yeah, it was, this, this was like a pretty chill week, it looks like. Um... Apparently, I was very emotional. Oh, yeah. I remember. We, we had a big fight. That's, that's, that's what that was. <laughs> and then Monday, we talked. Okay. So, this kit is from Glam Planner. I believe this is also a mystery kit. I really love this kit. And I think if it's in the shop, I'm going to go back and buy it again. Because I really love this kit. It's like... Almost like themed off of like a, uh, is it really themed off of being like in New York City? And I mean, I don't live in New York City. I am close to New York City, but we do also have houses that like definitely mimics this in my city. And I just love this like fall vibe. It's just, it's just so cute. You can see here, I use my double box here, which I really liked. Um, and I remember this day, um, him and I, after we had like a major talk, we um, figured out some things that I can do to help with my finances. And I ended up taking out a loan and paid off all of my credit cards that day. So, and then I also remember that day the mayor had a press conference and that's when he shut the whole city. Well, he shut the whole state down again. <laughs> so, no, 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 no. The mayor, he shut down our city. So, he shut down our city starting that Friday and it expired January 4th so that was a whole thing because this follow the following week was his birthday week and then the week after that we were supposed to go on vacation so that was the thing see here we go put your invisible girl put your Invisalign in girl yeah still ain't do it yep um I had my nurse and ethic court counsel that day looks like I forgot to put my happy moments from that day but um really really like this kid really really like this kit and i'm hoping i'm hoping it is available again i would definitely go back and buy this here we have another gold mine and cocoa kit i believe this one was from uh, a mystery and i said it just kind of makes sense to use this during like black friday cyber monday ish like you know week so i remember yeah i i was sick that day so i didn't I don't think I went to work or I called out of work or something. I can't remember. But I took my temp because I, I got nervous. I was like, wait a minute. Oh, my gosh. And then the 24th, that was Babe's birthday. Went to go see his mom on that Thursday. That was also my grandparents' anniversary. Um, they've been married for over 50 years. So... I just think that's awesome. And this is the day that I actually premiered my dress shopping experience video. So if you guys have not seen that, make sure you go check it out. Okay, December, same, nothing. I did decorate this because, I'll cover that up. I did decorate this because it was milestone birthdays for both my mom and my niece. Um, as you see, I kind of came up with that. <laughs> sassy 60 for my mom and then my double digits is for my niece and i have her name covered here 
Um, but yeah, so this was some of the things that I was like really focusing on. <laughs> Still has not happened. You, I'm telling you guys, if we were doing a drinking game, you guys would be drunk. Um, restart working out, which I did do. Um, and the job offer did not happen. However, I am expecting it this month. And then I just thought this was really like chic because this was based off of like a French theme thing. And I remember um, this was a quote from Coco Chanel. A girl should be two things, classy and fabulous. And then I was going to do something down here. I, I thought about maybe doing like a pic collage of like my mom and niece down here. But I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with that. So here, this is a, a kit from Nikki Plus 3. This was like a limited edition kit for November. And I just thought this was beautiful. And I actually had a different kit planned for this week. But since we ended up not going on vacation this week, I said I might as well go ahead and change it up. So yeah, I remember he had me watch this movie. Have you guys ever seen Survive in the Game? Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I was... <laughs> I was like, why would you have me watch this weird behind movie? <laughs> but yeah, it was cool. And then here we go again with the Hello December. I remember I had the second part of my interview that day, so I was really excited about that. Then also made me a annual visit at my doctor's at 1.30 that day. Um, I did pick up hours that day, but nope, didn't happen. So had a I had free I had my time back pretty much. Um, and then this was our last, like, day of vacation. And I guess it kind of ended up working out in my favor because I got a migraine. So, these were two days that I had put down for working and, um, ended up not happening. So, I just used, like, a little strip of, um, washi from the kit and just put FMLA because I ended up using my FMLA time for my migraines. Um, this was my mom's, this was not my mom's birthday, but I was like pricing out some things for her. Um, we ended up not being able to do our plan. She had originally wanted a family cruise. We couldn't do that anymore. So then her, my mom and, um, her and my sister and myself were going to go all hang out in Chicago. That couldn't happen anymore because they was changing like all the different regulations about flying. And when you get there and none of us have like time or really wanted to have to quarantine, a certain amount of time to then try to enjoy a space just to come back and have to do it again like it just didn't make any sense so you know and ended up um just pretty much chilling that day after eating because i had a migraine it was bad so i took my um relief medicine and then he gave me a massage head massage um on that sunday which really i felt like helped so this was the week of my mom and niece's birthday ironically enough my mom was like i just don't want to be a grandmom until after i turn 50 well my niece listened because she came that next morning <laughs> the whole time we were at dinner uh my my sister-in-law was in freaking labor it was the craziest thing but i absolutely loved this um i actually i used this because when we i thought we were going to go to chicago this would have been like perfect but i ended up switching up my thing because i know chicago is always cold and uh, my plan here is to grab a picture for both of them and put them here um, and now that I'm filming this video, I can go ahead and do this because it won't be shown again. But yeah, I really love the way this looks. And adding that hollow, I just feel like really just, it really just made it, it just made it pop. But yeah, then this was also the first day of my advent calendars, which was fun because, um, you know, I've never, this is my first year doing advent calendars. So that was really, really, really fun. And I remember that Saturday, um, she summoned all of us to get on house party so we could sing happy birthday to her. Um, but it was fun, though. It, it, I, I really enjoyed it. And she enjoyed herself, which was the most important thing. So this kit here, this is from Bean Sprout Paper Co. And I bought this uh, last year as well, I believe. I think like early in the year. Um, and it was called Cozy. Such a cute kit. I used silver foil with it, as you guys see. And it's like really themed around like warmth and your animals. So since I am a fur mom of my baby Spade, aka the kitty cat, I ended up really focusing on the cats here. Um, this assignment at work that day was hella heavy. 
and I think I was probably so exhausted it, it just didn't even make any any sense and then I got some good news in my email about the job I had um applied for so I was like excited and I said okay I, I think I'll hear something this month but yeah um then I went back to work on Wednesday I remember well actually I picked up this day and it was a snowy day which is probably why they needed people um I had to transfer patients like to ICU as soon as I got to work like it was it was a mess that's been happening a lot too I get to work and like almost instantly it's a rapid response and I'm transferring somebody to the ICU like I'm like okay I need this dark cloud to get up off of me <laughs> Um, and I remember that was like a major snowstorm that day. So I had put the little um, snow clouds from Glam Planner here. I just thought that was just so cute. Um, then 17, we watched the Doll Soldiers, which was about werewolves. Lord have mercy. I said, sir, you got to be watching all these. I'm like, what how old were you when you watched these movies? Because a lot of these movies are like movies that you watch in childhood. So I'm just like, sir. How old were you when you watched these movies? Like, we're not doing this with our kids, okay? Just, just letting you know. Um, yeah, here we go again. Change the visit line. What a visit line, girl. You ain't never put them in. Listen. Um, and then I got an updated phone call that Friday about the job. So, um, yeah. That was that week. And then this is the week of Christmas. Oh, this by far. I love that I put all of them across the top like this. And when I was going through and I was trying to figure out what foil I wanted to do, I said, oh my God, I got this red foil. I believe this foil is from some of it, like these icons and stuff is from Scribble Prince Co., I believe. But this like overlay foil, I think, is that from Scribble? It may be from Scribble Prince Co. It's either Scribble Prince Co. or TD Stickers. Um, but if you watch this video, um, because it was such a like uh week and it really didn't feel like you know a holiday season especially with me in the work 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 week and stuff what i did was kind of just did a um almost like a note to self little journaling spot at the bottom of each of the day and i really like doing that um i kind of realized that my planning style is definitely more memory planning so at least most of the videos that i posted so with that being said, I just thought this was a really um, cute kit to do. Um, I remember on the 22nd, that was 31 days until I turned 33. So I was just like, okay, well, you know, let's, we going to go ahead and we going, we going to get it popping. And I, I do remember the 24th was the day before Christmas and I came back to work again and got one of the same patients who I absolutely adored. And I was so excited to see her dis discharge. And I said, I swear, if we could hug, I would give you such a big hug. I said, so just know I'm giving you lots of love from afar. <laughs> she was just, she was just such a sweetheart. And I was just so glad to see her go home. I was just so glad. And then on Christmas Day, it was, it was a, it was a hot ass mess. I'm just, oh my God. And I remember this was a four day stretch. Never again. Never again. Yeah, that four that four day stretch was it was a mess. And then I had took like this from this like little sheet of stickers I got from the stationary muse that like was very Christmas themed and I wanted to like add that into there. It I just really like the way this is like get into this red foil. And I know people really don't like red, but listen, red is my favorite color. Okay. It's my favorite. So I was absolutely obsessed. And if it's not red, it's rose gold. Like, that's 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 my two things. Oh, yeah, I remember this first day I got back on the treadmill after not going to a gym and being on the treadmill. We have a treadmill at home, and I had him, like, pull it out for me so I can actually use it. Whew. But I've been proud of myself. I've been, I've been pushing through it. And that is it. Thank you guys so much. Actually, you know what? Let me go ahead. I'll show you the last spread that's going to be in this planner. So this was New Year's. So New Year's week. This is from Nettie Designs. And then I used the Sparkle Hollow from Sadie Stickers. And I just think this is so cute. I love the feel of her paper. I used a, like a very like a gel point pen. It just wrote so smooth on it. I just absolutely love 
this kit. I'm gonna have to go back and buy more because this this was um this this was such a cute kit. I remember I was charged these two days. Lord, it was so many things happening on this day and things that you know not, didn't necessarily have to do with an actual COVID patient, but it's like COVID precautions that we had going on. And it was a lot, which is why I put over today. <laughs> and then um, I was happy because I ended up getting paid this day because I normally get paid Thursdays. But I guess because this was the eve, it paid me a day before, which was nice. But we also had um, issues with an, another patient again. So we ended up having to eventually transfer him to the ICU as well. It's just, it's it's been, that those two days was a, a mess. And I remember... I didn't eat until probably like almost six o'clock. So I ended up not even eating dinner. I just gave me home dinner that day, which was tacos, which made it easy because it was quick. Um, yep. And then remember for New Year's Eve, it was on house party. I was watching movies with him. And the next day I made mimosas and breakfast. It was nice. And then I got a headache and I think it was from the orange juice. That's my conclusion. Because I do drink, like, and it's normally just like wine or champagne, and I never get headaches from that. So I think it was the orange juice that gave it to me. It was a mess. Woke up the next day. It was kind of okay. I did film a little bit. I had to do um, the audit report for my Eastern Star chapter, and yeah, then I kind of just like chilled out for the rest of the day. Same thing with Sunday. I really ended up not doing anything that Sunday, so. Yeah, so that actually is now going to be the end of this video, and this will be my last spread in this um, planner. I do have, like, you know, a lot more pages to go, a lot more months and weeks to go, but I think I'm going to switch over planners now, and yeah, stay tuned for a coming video for that, but yes, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you liked it make sure you give me a thumbs up let me know what was your favorite spread and don't forget i will link all the videos for each of these spreads down below for you guys to go back and um watch but thank you guys so much for watching and i'll talk to you later bye